What is going on guys? Today is probably gonna be one of the most unusual fishing adventures I've ever had. So check this spot out. I came to this place several days ago to fish. Was not super successful, but something crazy happened. Over there was a big boat working on the lock. It was full of scuba divers and workmen, and they were working around the base of the lock. They even had a concrete truck parked right here that was pumping underwater concrete to the base of the lock. I cannot imagine being a scuba diver down there. One guy said they were down 60 feet scuba diving by this lock, repairing the base of it. Uh, and it's totally black down there. It's all by feel. So you're 60, 70 feet under this swirling current, totally dark, pouring concrete and, and working underwater. I just thought, thought that all by itself was crazy. But anyway, as I was sitting here fishing, I was done for the day. I came back up here and there was a truck parked and there was this guy sitting in it who was the overwatch for the guys who were working on the dam. And he said, did you catch anything? I said, not real, not a whole lot. And he said, uh, you know, there are a couple guys down here a few days ago and they were using rope for bait. And I said, excuse me? He said, yeah, they were using pieces of rope. They were like making these rope lures and catching big fish with them. So he had my attention. So I went home and I Googled that concept, fishing with rope, and I came across this crazy, in fact, there are a whole bunch of videos of people who use rope as fishing lures. And in fact, I'd like to shout out Richard Gene, the fishing machine, who also has a YouTube channel. I'll actually put a link to it in the description because he had a little tutorial on how to make your own rope lures. So I went to the store and I got some rope and we're gonna try to make lures out of this today and catch some fish, hopefully some monster fish. All right guys, so I have about a six in inch length of rope here. We actually have some different colored uh, ropes and stuff too that I'm gonna try, but first we're just gonna start off with the white and I'm gonna take on one end here and I'm gonna burn it. We're just gonna burn it like so. All right, so I've let that cool down and you can kind of see how it's a little bit more rounded tip, a little bit uh, harder there. I'm gonna take a hook and I'm gonna put it, well, Maybe. There we go. It's all melted down, so I'm just gonna put a hook. Now, interestingly enough, we're actually not gonna use the hook to catch the fish. I mean, the hook might catch them, but mostly we're, since we're fishing for gar. They have long pointed teeth, if you guys are especially like from the Pacific Northwest. We don't have gar where I live, so I'm brand new to all of this, but gar have those long pointed teeth and their teeth actually get tangled up in the rope and that's how you catch them. So I'm just gonna work on untying and just kind of pulling at all these fibers to make it as crazy as possible because that's how the gar, the gar's teeth are gonna get caught in these fibers so that the, the crazier and the more frizzledy I can make it, the better. So check it out guys, while I was making my uh, lure, there's a boat right there the guys, it looks like they're getting ready to start working on it again. That crane lowered the boat into the water. And I think they might start diving again and working on the dam. Like, what kind of money do you make doing that job? You'd have to pay me some buku bucks to dive, you know, dive down and work on this thing. So here we go. Looks ridiculous big piece of rope on a hook. I've got a couple split shots so I can actually cast it. Ooh, fish jumped right there. Um, first cast. <laughs> Hope no other. Guys, got one, got one, got one. All right, now I was told that when they first get on, you want them to roll a little bit. So I'm actually not gonna reel them in real hard because you want their teeth to get all tangled up in it. Whoa, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. I think I've given him enough. Oh, cool. Oh, he just barely, 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 barely. Oh, man. Look at that. This is only my second gar. Whoa, big boy. Look at that, guys. I caught my first fish on a piece of rope. Check that out. First rope fish ever a beautiful gar. This is the only, this is only the second gar I've ever caught in my life. I'm from Idaho and have spent almost all my time in the Pacific Northwest. So we don't have gar. And so to see and catch one of these is pretty, pretty sweet. I cannot believe I caught it on some rope. 
Wow, that worked. Let's let's walk him down. I walked down the shore quite a ways. I've actually been fishing for a while. I was getting a little discouraged. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work. So I'm actually gonna put on some gloves here. Let's see here. Getting this guy off the hook is probably gonna be a little difficult. But that wasn't actually that was wasn't too hard. Now before really oh well, there he goes. Never mind. I was going to show you guys something on that lure. Pretty messed up now. What I'm going to do is it took me a while to hook up on one with the white. So let's try a different color. Let's try like some, maybe some blue or red rope here. So this red rope is quite a bit thicker than the white stuff we were just using. Um, and I like the bright colors. I think we might get a bite faster using this stuff. And there we go. <laughs> lure number two the hook yeah I didn't even get it on that hook that time it's just it's just there to hold the rope Let's see if we can get something on this <laughs> first cast the red rope the action on a piece of rope actually isn't half bad like if you give it some nice pulls it almost looks like maybe a big swim bait or something kind of swimming through the water So I'm done with the red one. The red one, it might be kind of too big. I, I've made a blue lure here. I'm just kind of frizzling it out. And you can see it's about half the size. And so let's see if they want the blue. I don't know if it's because they don't like the red color or the red one is just too big. Got one, got one. Whoa. Oh shoot. Oh, you know what I did? What I did wrong? I forgot. They said when they grab it, you're supposed to actually give them just a little bit of slack because then they, they'll, they'll open it and try to like open their mouth a little bit and stuff and try to eat it more. Uh, and they'll kind of shake their head and then more of the fibers will get in there and they'll get tangled up. I did that wrong. Shoot. That guys, that felt like a really big, big fish. Got one. Oh shoot. You know, I set the hook too hard again. One. There's some guys over here. A garfish, yes. Is that what y'all are fishing for? You catch gar? Okay, that's cool. What are you using for bait? A piece of rope. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I had so I'm not from around here. I'm from Idaho, and I was down here fishing for catfish, and a guy said, "Hey." You want to know something crazy? These two guys came down. It might have been you guys. Uh, These two guys, and they were just fishing with rope, and they're catching tons of gar. That was me. So <laughs> that was you. Okay. So look what I'm using. <laughs> I got a piece of rope. <laughs> you know, it so, don't even have a hook though. Yeah. Well, hook. I just put a hook just because I didn't want to try to tie it all together. Yeah. It, it didn't need a hook. Because I caught one, and he didn't have that. It was just his teeth were tangled up. just got rope. That is so fun. Okay, I want to see this. So I actually make YouTube videos. Is that all right if you guys are on, yeah. on YouTube? That's what I'm doing right now. So guys, there's his, uh, there's his lure. Yep. Okay, so it must have been y'all. <laughs> that is funny. Do you guys eat them? Yeah. yeah. Cool. How do you eat them? You can fry them. You can put them in gravy. Yeah. Okay. Bake them. That is very cool. I don't, I'm not, I didn't plan on cooking any today. I was just going to see if it even worked. Yeah, if I catch one, I'll give it to y'all. Okay. You can have it, totally. Got one, got one, got one, got one. I'm gonna let him just have a little bit of slack. Let him get tangled up a little bit more. Before I start reeling them in. All right, now I'll start reeling them in. All feels like a good one. I got one. Oh. -ho. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay. Guys, wait till you see this. Get him right up on shore. Look at this big dude. <laughs> Just right in the snout. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get him up here. Wow. Oh. oh man. Look at that fish. Oh. Woo. Wow. Oh, that.
It was fun. Man, he chomped. Oh, we can break his mouth off and get it off if you want because they're going to die anyway. So. Uh-huh. You know, he's so tangled up, that actually might be a be good good. idea. I'll kill him real quick first. All right. <laughs> All right, there we you go. So you can ha get, your, get your lure out. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so you much. Guys, yes. check that out. Uh, My personal best, Gar, right there. That is so cool. It's spotted Gar, is that correct, sir? Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know the difference. I know there are a lot of different other kinds of Gars out there, but spotted Gar, that is, this is, that uh, is fun. They call it an alligator Gar. Oh, they call this an alligator gar. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is that? Alligator gar. So what is? It's a needle nose, right? It's a needle nose. Oh, it's needle, needle nose gar. Yeah. Oh, it's a yeah. needle nose gar. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He said cool. alligator, alligator got the round. The alligator gar got the round bit. Got, bit, got a round bit. bill. Mouth. Yeah, mouth. Mouth. Okay. Yeah. It looks like. Okay. Cool. You guys see him? Welcome to Louisiana, folks. That is so funny because the. Actually, those guys are working. Um. Hey, pardon me. Hello? There's an alligator right here, just to let you know. I know you have a diver in the water. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, they don't, they don't seem to be concerned. Okay. Guys, check out the alligator. He's going right toward those guys. There's, they got a diver down there. He's right there. Well, the gator is in the corner there. Um, I thought he was heading right for the boat, but he's not. So. Well, that's a Louisiana attitude right there. <laughs> gator, nah, eh, it's small. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that is crazy. If I was in the water and I had a gator anywhere near me, I would be out of the water post haste. Crazy. Well, guys, we did it. Caught fish on rope crazy crazy morning guys if you enjoyed this video and you guys want to check out another louisiana video i'll put a whole playlist right there if you guys want to check out the time that we um turned legos into fishing lures i'll put that right there thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to keep getting out there trying new things and leveling up in real life thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one